the first contact point for the public in an emergency is the phone call to the National Ambulance Service. In the past few years, the role of National Ambulance Service control staff has changed from call taking, dispatch and coordination to now also delivering post-dispatch instructions and affecting care at the initial point of contact. This is never more prevalent than when an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest occurs. Decisions and instructions given by control staff will directly impact on patient survival. There are two key messages. Firstly, if you're in doubt as to the status of a call, you should upgrade it to an echo determinant and commence post-dispatch instructions, initiating resuscitation and increasing our use of emergency call taker assisted CPR. Secondly, you should also consider all available resources to enhance the chances of patient survival, from community first responders to intermediate care vehicles, officer response vehicles and early activation of the emergency aeromedical service. Do not underestimate the positive impact you can have on each and every out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patient. As a control supervisor, I understand the impact I can have in an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. One of the most rewarding parts of my job is knowing that I have played an important role in the survival of a patient. When you recognise that the patient is in cardiac arrest, you gain the confidence of the caller to initiate resuscitation. It lifts the momentum of the response. You start to become truly invested in each passing minute and with each instruction you are willing the best outcome for the patient. You coordinate with the call dispatchers and see them pick up on the intensity of the situation and pass the closest available resources. From the moment the ambulance arrives you wonder about the outcome. When you hear that a patient has survived an out of hospital cardiac arrest you really comprehend the importance of your job. Emergency Medical Dispatch has grown into a world leader for establishing standards and protocols for safe handling and dispatch for all emergencies. It is based on stringent assessment of service procedures and performance around handling 999-112 emergency calls. The National Ambulance Service's One Life Project is striving to increase survival rates from out of hospital cardiac arrest in Ireland and call takers and dispatchers play a pivotal role in the success of this endeavour. When a member of the public makes an emergency call for a cardiac arrest, it is often their first time requesting emergency assistance and can be a very stressful situation involving family members and friends. Establishing accurate facts of the unfolding scenario can be a challenging task for the call taker. But the importance of early recognition of the patient in cardiac arrest cannot be underestimated. When an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest occurs, seconds matter. Our objective is to provide rapid, effective help for patients. Firstly, by giving clear post-dispatch instructions to the caller on how to initiate resuscitation and increase our use of emergency call taker assisted CPR. Secondly, by coordinating a rapid response to each out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, striving to increase the use of community first responders and public access defibrillator schemes while an ambulance response is en route.